Good morning, my fellow traveling condiments. Today, we're at Epcot. We're at the Food and Wine Festival. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try a bunch of new foods. Ooh, I'm so excited. Whoop, whoop. So, usually the normal parking is over there, but this time they got us really far to the left. This is the first time I've ever parked on this side. It's really cool. It's actually not bad, though. You have a good little walkway to get in there. Yeah, there's a bird. Hello. <laughs> Remember, the wheelchair once you go through security and the entrance, it'll be on the left side by those flags you see there. Okay. Food and Wine Festival, I am so excited. <laughs> they have the, the other rat from Ratatouille. That's cool. I'm so excited to try a bunch of new foods. <laughs> Okay guys, we're gonna head to guest relations real quick. Um, it's saying that we don't have park reservations even though obviously we do, we're in the park currently. Uh, so it's not letting us create any virtual queues or anything like that. So that's what we're gonna tackle right now. Okay guys, so they said that it was a very known problem and basically what we have to do is hope that it works for the next one. And if it doesn't work for the next virtual queue, then we have to create an IT ticket on the app or find the nearest closest um, member. And, you know, it's kind of iffy. It's kind of... Yeah. It's never happened to mm. us before, though, as many times as we've ever... Yeah, we've been here tons of it. times, and yeah. it, we've never had a problem, but now it is acting weird. Yep. But we're going to look inside Creations. We're obviously already in here, but we're going to show around some of the stuff. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. I really like that jacket. It's pretty cool. It's like OG Disney. The Chippendale. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. It's a lamp. Aha, there's the real one. It's USB. That's really cool, actually. Oh, it's glass. Wow. I really like this, like, denim jacket thing. It doesn't have anything on the back, but it has Walt Disney with Studios on the front. Lilo and Stitch bag. That's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. We got the Halloween stuff. That backpack is really cool. <laughs> I like the Mickey Mouse. That's so cool. There's the spirit jerseys. And the backpacks. I think that's my favorite shirt out of all of them though. That's really cool. Had a Guardians hoodie. It's pretty cool. They got Cosmo. Cosmo is really cool. And all the Star Wars stuff and the Loki scepter, the Eye of Agamotto. That's so cool. Little water bottle holder that's grouped. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Infinity Gauntlets and the actual Infinity Gauntlets on this side. One's a left hand and one's a right hand, so you can wear one on each hand. <laughs> okay, guys, we are headed to Soarin' right now. That's what we're gonna ride first. Uh, we were gonna try the pickle shake, but it's currently not open yet. It's only nine o'clock. So we're gonna head and do Soarin' and we're gonna ride that. And we always love Soarin', so. And as Patrick says, so we're in the tower. You can officially see the tops of whatever this is going to be. I don't really remember what it's going to be, but you can see the top of it just by walking now. So that's pretty cool. We are headed in. And of course, these little beauties. 
Soaring, love it, love that ride so much. It was good, and probably, it was like walk on. Oh yeah, we walked like straight on. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite rides here at Epcot. Um, I think next will be the land, so stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. We're headed for living with the land. This is one of our favorite rides when it's hot outside. Scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture like the water lilies drives account for nearly two thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal because it implies we are significantly reducing over 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. So, guys, if you come up here, there is a portable charger refueling station for your fuel rod. So you can get a new one that's fully charged. It's pretty cool. Okay guys, that was Living With The Land. We always love that ride. That ride is so much fun. Uh, now I think we're gonna go try some snacks or if we don't go get snacks first, I think we're gonna go try Test Track. Uh, I think it only has a 45 minute wait, so I think that's where we're headed currently. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we looked again and all of the wait times are medium. But um, we're going to go to Ratatouille because it only has a 30 minute wait. So we're basically going to run to that real quick. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're headed in. It now says 45 minutes instead of the 30, but we're committed now. We're, we're going to ride this thing. We're going to ride this sucker. Okay, we just rode the Ratatouille ride, Dad. What'd you think? <laughs> yep, it's very good. And uh, now we're looking at the France booth because we're hungry. Ooh. Yeah. With three cheeses. We are not eating escargot. It all looks yummy. Well, y'all can eat The creme brulee looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we decided to not get anything at the France booth just yet. Uh, we're gonna head around, look around a little bit more. Um, we're gonna go back later and I'm gonna get the creme brulee though because it looked really good to me. Um, but now we're gonna look at the little passport type okay. thing and we're gonna try to find something good. So tonight there's a concert and you're not gonna believe who's here tonight. Bailey's not gonna know who it is. But Probably not. Joey Fatone is gonna yeah, be I don't singing. Know who that is. You don't know who he is? I have no clue who, who that is. Do you know who he is? Go for it. Go. No. Who is he? He's gonna be singing. What is he? Let's see. I think it tells what he's going to sing. Bye, bye, bye. Hmm. Interesting. I'm here for it. We're going. Cool. Even if we just stand outside the auditorium, the amphitheater <laughs> thing. Cool. We're going. All right. But we're going to keep looking on for some snacks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is Brazil. Uh, we're going to do the Brazilian cheese bread. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to try real quick. So. Whoop, whoop. Okay. We got the cheese bread and dad got the black lager. So I'm gonna try the cheese bread, and I guess Dad's gonna try that. Okay, so Dad's gonna try that. Ooh, I like it. Cool. And then, oh, oh yeah, that was satisfying. Oh, it looks so good. Rip into another piece so Mom can get some. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. That is so good. Wow. 
It's like, it's like if you get pizza just with no sauce. That's how, it's like pizza crust with a lot of cheese in it. But a very thin crust. Yes. It's but just, not, it's good. Not it's so good. a crunchy crust. Yeah. It's like more of a doughier crust. It's so good. On to the next. So this one is Belgium. Uh, they got the beer braised beef, the Belgian waffle, or both Belgian waffles, one with chocolate and one with a berry compote. The one with the berries looks really good to me. The braised beef looks interesting as well. It's also got mashed potatoes. It looks pretty good. I think dad's gonna grab something. I don't know what he's gonna get though. He might be getting one of the drinks. Not sure. Okay, so dad's getting the beer flight. Uh, that does not pertain to me because I do not like alcohol and I am not old enough to drink alcohol. So they're gonna try that. Uh, and I guess I'm just gonna record them doing that. So. so your mom goes. It's okay. That is this one, the bottom one. Mm. Mom it said it a, is okay. A florally taste, like flowers. Mom's on to the next one already. That is this middle one. This one. Mm, I don't know about it. Red fruit. It's better than that one. I've got big expectations for that one. Dad, what'd you think what of that one? Called? This one. I like it. It's got a little bit of a bitter after note, yeah. but I do like it. Ah. Try the red fruit. Not as bad as like an IPA or something like that. Why are you holding it like that? <laughs> Ooh. I like it. I'm not sure about it. It's Mom, come on, one. get with the last one. So now I have high hopes for this one because it's gradually getting better. So it's going to be whatever that is. I can't, I don't want to botch that sentence, so. Brewery Van Steenberg Golden, I think it means like golden. No, it's this one. Drock Triple L. This oh, is the one that you're trying. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So here we go. <laughs> oh, she no. don't like it. No. <laughs> she don't like that one. It's bad. It's bad. It gets you on the end. Top. Yeah. Second. No. Third. No, I would say opposite. I would say this would be the best of the three, even though it's not great. Then this one, then that one. Uh, like that one, one. Interesting. Like, made me choke. No. Well, this is the name of all of them. If y'all wanted to try it, is it, it is at the Belgium stand. They're pretty strong. <laughs> Have fun with that. Uh, <laughs> on to the next. Oh, Dad's just gonna down that one. Okay. On to the next snack. The sun's moving. Dad's scared of the lamb, so we're not gonna get anything from this one. I don't lamb. I might come back later and grab some, but Dad said he's not down. And I'd be down in it on my own. I've only had it one time and did not care for it. Yep. But it was a long 30 long years ago almost probably. It looks really good actually. I, I might come back and get one of them later. All of it looks really good. But nobody wants to share with me so. What are you gonna get? What'd you want? The teriyaki bun. Oh, okay, I guess we're getting the teriyaki bun. I'm gonna try it. Here. Looks pretty good. Okay, we got the teriyaki chicken bun. Smells good. Smells very good. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Is it fluffy? Yeah. The bun is like a sweet. And the meat is a nice, good teriyaki savory flavor. First time of the day. Wow. Hey, you're just like mine. Houses. Just like mine. <laughs> wow. That's entertaining. Mm. Mm. It's got hair all over it. Yeah. <laughs> The bun is nice and sweet. The chicken is nice and savory. It's very good. Actually, I think this is probably my favorite out of the things that we've tried so far. Out of the cheese bun and the teriyaki chicken bun, I think the teriyaki chicken bun takes the win. Reminds me of a sloppy joe. A little bit, yeah. 
I can see it. Is it better than the one at the Chinese pavilion when they normally have a bao bun? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so. Sweet. It's very good. I enjoy that a lot, actually. So this is what they have in Italy. The lemon ricotta looks pretty good, but I'm not really a cheesecake person, so I think we're gonna skip this booth for now. What about the focaccia? Unless mom wants something. It's got meatballs, so I can't have it, but it has burrata and meatballs. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take a hard pass. <laughs> Bailey doesn't like meatballs. No, I don't like meatballs or ground beef for that matter. Sausage ragu. So I think we're gonna skip this booth and we're gonna head to the next one. Whoop, whoop. Okay, we're at Germany now, and all of this looks really good, but I think the apple strudel looks the best to me, so I think I'm gonna grab that real quick, and we're gonna give that one a little test go. Okay, we have got the apple strudel. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks delicious. We're gonna find a shady, shady spot to eat it on. You have not been and ate at Epcot unless you've eaten on top of a trash can. <laughs> it's the only place where it's acceptable. Oh yeah, okay. That's what it looks like, it looks really good. Uh, we're gonna try to get some of this vanilla sauce on it. Yeah. Maybe a knife would have been a better idea. I'm just kind of destroying this thing. It just kind of fell apart. Here we go. That's really good. It's nice and sweet. Good flavor. Yeah. That's phenomenal. Da. Yes, exactly what that said. Da. Mm. I love all things apple, so this is very good for me. The bratwurst on a pretzel roll looked really good too, but I'm not really a bratwursty sausage guy. I probably would have just got it for the pretzel roll, but this was very good and I definitely recommend this. It was 10 out of 10. Mom's going in on it. Mom tell us how it is. That thing's enough. Yeah, it just kind of explodes out if you don't use a knife. So I'll get some vanilla. Is it, I want to know Sweating. in comparison to what they have at the German restaurant. Mmm, okay. All right. Here we go. Mmm. It's pretty good. I think it's just as good. It's probably the same same thing. Okay, you think? Becomes dead. The sauce is really good. The apples are good and tart. They're not just mushy. Like they have a fresh. Yeah, it's like a fresh apple. Yeah. It's good. It's extremely good. That actually might be one of my favorite things so far. It's, I like that a lot. Mmm. This one's for Kenya. The barbecue beef sounds really good. I don't know if we're gonna try this one or not. Okay guys, this is India. We're gonna get the curry spiced crispy cheese and the potato and pea samosa. So that's what mom's gonna get right now and we're gonna try that. Do you wanna come over here? All right, mom's going for it. We're gonna try these. I loved these last year. They're not hot though. I'm feeling they're kind of room temperature. So this is like a curry ketchup. Very good. You grab one. They would be better if they were hot. I mean, this one has had the most people in line that I've seen so far. Yeah. I think a lot of it too is because we started backwards. Probably. <laughs> Like, so many people start at Mexico and go around. So there's more people over here. Well, okay, it's my turn. Hello. Mm. That's pretty good. Hello. Mom just tried this. Mom, what do you think? This is really good. I really like it. It's not too spicy. I think last year it was a lot spicier. There's a, a little bit of spice, but not bad. Yeah. Dad, what do you think? These are nice and warm. I could eat it. I could eat it. I could eat it. These are nice and warm though. Yeah, so I tried this one and I'm going to be honest, I didn't like those ones that much. Um, I didn't catch my reaction because I didn't have my thing set up, but 
not the best. I like the the cheese sticks a whole lot more. They were a whole lot better to me. Uh, Mom didn't like them as much because they weren't very warm, but I think that the flavor was just overall better personally. But Mom said that she liked them more, and Dad said that he liked the cheese sticks more. I think. Yeah. And I think now we're gonna head to the next station to see what all they got. And we're gonna try to stop somewhere and grab some water before we do that. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, we're heading into the Odyssey building. Uh, we're about to get that pil pickle shake. I'm excited for the pickle shake. We got the pickle shake and some wings, whatever those are. They're impossible. Impossible wings. Interesting. I love the way that it's decorated in here. It's so cool. Napkins required. I got wings stuck to the wall. It's so cool. Your mom goes, impossible wing. They're pretty good. Dad's gonna go in for it next. Mm, they're a little spicy. Well, it is a hot wing. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I don't normally do like fake meat. But yeah. They're pretty good. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm gonna pass on that one. I'm going for the pickle shake. Ooh, yeah. That's gonna be good. Okay guys, the pickle shake. It's got little st stuff on top. I don't really know what that is, but. Does it taste like pickles? Kind of? It's like, it's pickly. It's not like really pickly. That's really good. I actually, I actually really like that. I like the little cup that it comes in. Now it's dad's turn. Okay, here we go. That was a big gulp. See, it's like pickly, but not. It's like pickles, but not. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh. Transmission. To the Brewing Lab, Inc. A place to experiment with new food and beverages. Don't be afraid to try something new, like our frozen fusion confections that... Oh my gosh, there's oh, another one under there. Three more, three more. Cut them up. I'll set this on there. Pick it up. Anyways, Dad, what'd you think? Um... I like it. The pickle is not as strong as I thought it was going to be. Everybody, yeah. Everybody it else. That it was like a vanilla pickle, like off yeah. of a, drinking a no. milkshake with. I don't a, even taste pickle. And it's 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 on the back side where I would take it with my pickle. I can taste pickle. Um, it's just it's not it's not a strong pickle. Yeah. I get a little bit of the dill. Yeah. It's good though. I like it. I like that a lot. That's probably one of my most anticipated and is probably the best one so far. It just wasn't what I expected. I, I was listening to... Everybody said it was really vinegary. And, and I don't get that. Mm -hmm. I don't get any vinegar like at all. I actually like it. I like it a lot. I'm not it's a milkshake really really person. But... Yeah. Dad's going in for his second one. Oh yeah. That's very good. I definitely recommend that and I'm gonna drink the rest of that one most likely. <laughs> okay guys, at the fry basket right beside Test Track, they have the adobo fries and then they have the fry flight and the pickle fries. Um, we're gonna pass on this one for right now, but we will be back for these. I think right now we're gonna head back to the hotel for a little while since it is going to rain and then we will be back and I'm gonna get the flight. I'm gonna try all three of these whenever we return. Also, the refreshment station is now reopened. So that's pretty cool. There's the big rain cloud. Yeah, it's gonna rain for a little while. So I think that we're just gonna 
I think that we're just gonna head back. Oh, there's the monorail. Yeah, I think we're gonna head back to the hotel for right now. And we'll probably be back, so. We also have Guardians. Yeah, we also have a queue line for Guardians at around four o'clock. It's currently about 1.30. We so. that. They have queue for oh, Guardians. Oh yeah, dad ah, doesn't like Guardians. Not. He's a weenie. Yes, it makes me sick. It makes him like extremely seasick. So, well, I guess it's called space sick. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. Wow, those clouds are crazy. It's cool. Okay, guys, also Hawaii is open. We're finally back in the park, number one. Uh, it stopped raining, so they have the pork slider and the spam sushi. <laughs> Currently, we're headed to Canada to get some of the bacon cheddar soup and some of the poutine. But we may try this before we leave. I don't know about the spam sushi, but probably the pork slider before we leave. Christian loves the sushi. Now, yeah. She says it's really good. Have you tried it? Uh, I tried it last time, but I didn't care too much for it. But I'm gonna, I'm willing to try it one more time. And I'm also heavily considering trying the pork slider. But first, to Canada. To Canada! Okay, guys, we got traditional poutine. It's got these extra cheese curds in it. And we got the bacon and cheddar soup. I'm so excited. Okay, guys. Got the soup. Excited for the soup. Mmm. That's really good. That's actually really good. We got some bread. Dad wants some bread. Here you go. It's like a pretzel bread. Mmm. Try some bread, Mom. You don't like bacon. Mm -mm. Do bacon for me. Mmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now it's time for the poutine with these new curds. <laughs> face is I can't see your facial reaction. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't have one. <laughs> 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 it's pretty good. I like that. Okay guys, it's time to ride Guardians. We finally have come time for our virtual queue. And holy smokes, the line is long. Wow, it must have been down. Something. Yikers. Gotta get on. Whoop. Okay guys, um, we just finished Guardians of the Galaxy and now we are headed to the fry basket to get some fries. We're gonna get that fry flight I talked about earlier. Uh, I'm extremely excited to try all the fries. Uh, and then we're gonna go meet up with Dad in the Connections Eatery. So stay tuned for our reaction on the fries. Okay guys, we got the fry flight. It's got the sea salt and malt vinegar fries, the barbecue bacon fries, and the sweet potato casserole fries. We're about to dig straight into these. We're gonna start trying them right here, right now. Okay guys, so we're gonna get into this. We're gonna do the sea salt and malt vinegar right here. Odd. Odd in a good way. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Time for the next one. I'm gonna see which one of these is the best. I'm gonna get a lot of that smoked aioli with the bacon. That's a lot of flavor. Hmm. And now we're gonna do the sweet potato casserole. I don't really know what part of this to grab, so I'm just gonna get the one with sauce on it. No. You like that? No. <laughs> the sweet one? I don't like sweet potato fries already. That's a no for me. I had to wash that one down. I think the bacon ones are the best. It goes bacon, malt vinegar, whoops, drop one, and then that one last. Still pretty good though. Mom, what do you think? 
salt and vinegar I get, first. I get a weird hint of banana. That's fair. In the salt and vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. It's like... It's like hidden in there. Kind of. I don't get banana. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can try these because, well, yeah. I can get one down from the bottom that doesn't have bacon on it. No, I totally get the banana thing. It's like just barely there. Like a runt. You remember those candies? <laughs> it's like barely banana. <laughs> so this is the bacon, the smoky bacon one, but I did not get any bacon. She doesn't like meat. She doesn't like the consistency of meat. It's okay. Not, ba not bacon, but the fries are there. It has a lot of... There's a lot of flavor there. Yeah, it has a lot of powder on it, though. I don't know. I want to try this. Um, what is this one? Sweet potato casserole? Yeah. They're not crispy. They're really mushy. Yeah. That doesn't help. Which one was your favorite? I don't like any of them. <laughs> really? Um, no. I wish we had got the dill pickle for us. Dad, which, what are your thoughts? My favorite is the malt vinegar, but I like malt vinegar. Me too. So that was definitely my favorite. My favorite's the bacon. Uh, my second would be the sweet potato one. Really? I like it. But the vinegar one though, again, it makes it kind of mushy. Yeah. Like kind of. Chewy. Like it's chewy, it's tacky, like it sticks to your teeth. I kind of see that. None of them are my favorite, so I'm saving room for something else. I like the barbecue fries, personally. Mm. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the slider this time or the sushi, the spam sushi. Uh, I think we're going to go and just wander around, try to find something else to do, because that line is long. It is so long. So we got the burnt in loaded fries. We tried these last time we were here, and we're going to try them again. So last time we didn't like these. But I just tried them again, and oh my gosh, they're so much better. Last time, the meat was too done, the mac and cheese was too done, and the fries were too salty. But this time, everything's exactly how it should be. It's so good. This is actually a lot better in my mind and list of things to eat at Epcot now because it's actually just better flavor. So much better. So much better. Okay, guys, that was our day at Epcot. We had a phenomenal day. Um, I think that's going to be the end of our journey. We're back at our hotel. We're staying at the French Quarter. It's very nice. It's very pretty. It's the first time we've ever stayed here. Uh, if you want to see more about this hotel and about the beignets that we're about to go eat, make sure to check out my next video. My next video will be about the hotel specifically, the French Quarter, and there'll be beignets and all the good stuff for this hotel, like the pool and stuff like that. So if you want to see more of that, remember to watch the next episode. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.